Hi folks, what's up? Uh, this video is to give you an overview of the class, the Mindful Leadership Masterclass, uh, just so you get a sense of how things are organized. The class is broken into three parts. There's the grounded self, effective communication, and tipping the organization. And so we'll quickly walk through each of those parts so that you can get a sense of what each of them is made of. So the grounded self is the first component of the Mindful Leadership Masterclass. It's made of four pieces. The first piece is finding your purpose, which gets into making sure that you're actually doing professionally that which you were, for lack of better words, meant to do, uh, your true passion. Um, and there are a couple of tools that we can use to dig that out and explore it and hone it for you. We've got overcoming internal barriers, which deals with deeply ingrained beliefs we have that are, that are kind of hard to see and um, need to do some work to discover those that might be holding us back from really unleashing our true selves. The third one, reducing noise, uh, boosting focus, is really around essentialism and stripping away everything in our to-do list that isn't moving us towards our purpose. And then finally, uncovering hidden bias, which is all about the way that our cognitive mechanics work and trying to learn how to create some space between stimulus and response. Uh, to sort of slow down and be more mindful in the way that we respond to things that are said to us or events that occur. The second part of the Mindful Leadership Master Class is effective communication. And that is made up of these four components. The first is developing empathy. And I guess what I would stress here is we're talking not just about empathy for others, but also empathy for ourselves. Um, the second is about feeling powerful and talking about power can make people uncomfortable sometimes uh, and I'm using it in a particular way here which is exploring the idea of power to rather than power over others. Uh, the third section is about speaking your truth and that really gets to the heart of being able to have hard conversations with people and speak from a place of authenticity, speaking from the heart, uh, and being unafraid to connect with other people and put yourself out there even when it's hard. And then finally, uh, one of the more interesting components uh, for me, uh, I have a lot of fun with this one, is the idea of deconstructing games people play in organizations. So this is when you think of organizational politics, this is where a lot of that stuff resides, and so we'll get into details around what that means and how to understand it and how to neutralize those games when they are sort of happening at you. And then finally, the third section of the Mindful Leadership Masterclass uh, is this part three, tipping the organization. And what this is made up of are these four components. The first which has uh, always been very popular since I started doing leadership coaching, is learning how to manage up, also known as how to talk to executives. Uh, the second part um, is about, as a leader or as a manager, uh, both for yourself and for others on your team, the idea of promoting autonomy and how that relates to good product and business outcomes in particular. Uh, the third component of tipping the organization, this is really, if you're a process nerd like myself, this is where we'll get into a little more of the technical details around how to enable teams to really ship and deliver what they're supposed to by embracing flow. This is a little bit more of the sort of basics of Kanban and Agile and uh, that sort of thing, uh, lean if you will. And then finally, the last part is being a change agent in a large organization. So how to actually effectively lead for change by influencing when you don't necessarily have authority. 
Cool. So that kind of wraps up the overall structure of the class. Now I want to introduce you to the grounded self canvas, uh, which I would recommend you work on on your own before you get into any of the other videos, and certainly before the Q&A sessions that we have every week for the class. So here is how the Grounded Self uh, Canvas is put together. The Grounded Self Canvas. What we're talking about are 12 questions, if you will, um, that get at each of the components in the first part of the master class. So I want to point out that this is the kind of thing that you will do once and then probably come back to periodically throughout the class. So let me just give you a quick overview of what all these pieces mean and what I'm getting at here. So this is designed to do some introspection, whether you are a manager within an organization uh, looking to expand your role or whether you are uh, going entrepreneurial, um, going out to work for yourself, starting a new business. These questions should broadly be applicable no matter what your actual position is. The first set of questions at the top is about thinking about who you work with and who you create value for. Who is your audience? Uh, what problems do they have that your role is about trying to fix? And what are some of their uh, sticking points that you can help them get through and have breakthroughs, right? The second level there is really around how those people feel when working with you and what sort of hurdles they might have. So we have what kind of impact do you want people to have when they're working with you? What do you want them to actually feel in their working relationship with you? Um, what might be holding them back from really coming to the table with you? And how do you overcome those challenges that they might have? Um, and this is certainly effective if you're managing people, right? And you're thinking about this in terms of the folks on your team. Um, the third layer is really about opportunities and challenges in your work that you need to prioritize good ones from bad ones. So really it's about identifying what are good opportunities for you and what are bad ones and how can you tell the difference and what is actually the cost of making a mistake, right? So for me this is really important because I have opportunities that uh, come across that sound kind of interesting but not, might not really be a great fit for me and there's actually an opportunity cost with taking on the wrong opportunity. And so I want you to try to visualize that and uh, qualify and quantify it as much as you can. And then finally, we're getting down really into the, the emotions and body part of the self. Um, and so this is all about what are your inner barriers? What are the things that are actually holding you back? Um, and what ways do, does your body tell you that something isn't right, right? Or that something is good. So we have, you know, what are the physical sensations that you might feel that can alert you to the kinds of challenges that you're looking at, right? Um, and we'll get into more of why this is important later in the class, um, but I want you to take a crack at it now and then we can come back and revisit it later. So you can download your copy of the Ground Itself Canvas at this URL. Um, so feel free to pause the video, type it in startuppatterns.com slash grounded hyphen self dot PDF. Um, it's not a publicly available URL on the site, but I'm giving it to you here in the class so that you can access it. Let me know if you have any trouble, I can always send you a copy. What you'll probably want to do is get the PDF and then um, most likely write it out on index cards or sticky notes or a piece of paper, um, and then be prepared to bring it to one of the sessions and we can discuss what you came up with. Yeah, so there you go. That's the overview of the masterclass. Uh, feel free to shoot me any questions that you have, and I'm looking forward to talking to you.